when you're going about this process of figuring out who to emulate, it's kind of a follow the leader type of thing, you don't really care about what's happening with the guy that's ranked number 90. You just don't, right? This process that you're using for gathering your information, your research, you're only concerned with the folks that are succeeding. And that's where you're gathering your research, your information. If you don't know who's succeeding, you don't know who to emulate. And you can look at your analytics all day long, and it's not going to tell you what you need to do to get the traffic from the search engine. It's only going to tell you whether your traffic is better than it was last month or worse. But it's not going to tell you why. So just looking at your analytics doesn't solve the problem. It does help you have a different measure of success. And my opinion is that that always should have been your measure of success, not ranking, but what kind of traffic are you getting? What's the quality of that traffic? And what are they doing on your site once they get there? Always should have been that. Because for your client or for yourself, the bottom line is the bottom line. Doesn't matter if you've got 50% more traffic than you did last month and no more sales. And that's all you're caring about is branding or something like that. So a third response to the introduction of personalization has been uh, akin to the sky is falling, we're all doomed, let's find another uh, business to work in. And for some people, the sky is falling. Those people are the ones who either through their technology or just through their, their practice of how they go about doing SEO are heavily dependent on traditional rank checking methods. So for example, there are a lot of tools out there that will help you kind of figure out what you need to do to target certain key phrases or target a particular search engine. Most of those are based on traditional right checking methods. On the back end, they do the search, they find the top 10, top 20, top 30 people that are ranking, and then they analyze those pages and they give you a recommendation. And they basically do something, usually something very simplistic, just take averages. Let's look at all the title tags and average them up, see what's going on. Let's look at all the, uh, the key phrase density and we'll average it all up and then we'll give you a recommendation. So if they're dependent on traditional right checking methods to figure out who to emulate, then that tool is pretty much obsolete or going to become obsolete very soon. Because the tools can't do any better than you can in this era of personalization, figuring out who's ranking where. Because as a matter of fact, there's no such thing anymore as where you rank. And trying to get clients to realize that, it's like pulling teeth. Um, but it's something that you have to do. So what I want to talk about today is this aspect of the cutting edge of SEO. And it's entitled SEO Themes and Personalization. 